Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Dom Workman. And look, if you've been following the channel, you know that most of the bills that I've been dropping have been shy creator bills or bills that's more focused on offense, scoring, playmaking. And the reality is, if you want a build that's truly elite offensively, I'm talking about finishing, playmaking, and shooting, you're going to have to give up some defense. And although having all that offense can bring value to a team and be super fun to play on, just like anything else, it has its drawbacks. And this is especially true if you play random rec like myself. Because look, going into the wreck without a defense on your build, it's just a gamble. It's a gamble that you're going to have a good game offensively, and that the dude that you're guarding is going to be complete ass. And most of the time, the latter is true, but there's going to be games where you come up against that person who knows what they're doing, and they're aggressive with it, and it's going to be tough for you. And most of these dudes in the wreck have this every man for himself mindset, so they're not going to want to help you on defense. I've been there. I've had centers tell me they're not helping on screens. I've had centers tell me they're not going to drop on the rim runner, all that. And it's unfortunate, but some people just have losing mindsets because at the end of the day, it's a team game and every player on the court has strengths and weaknesses. But as much as I love scoring and playmaking, there's nothing like being able to affect both ends of the floor. And although I already had a two-way guard with my two-way play sharp build that I dropped a couple months ago, that build could play some really good defense, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a lockdown because the build only gets silver badges and y'all know in 2K to be elite at something, you gotta have gold to hire. So with this build right here, I wanted to make an elite defender, but I also wanted to be serviceable on the offensive end too. And I didn't just want to be a perimeter defender. A lot of people just put a high perimeter and a high steal on their build and call it a day, but I wanted to be able to get stops in the paint and at the rim. Because y'all know, it's nothing like chasing somebody down on a fast break or coming over from the weak side and helping your teammate out when they think they're beat. And before we get into the build, I'm going to just tell y'all my philosophy on defense in 2K. Far too often, I think people associate being a lockdown in 2K with sitting there and spamming the ball handler and getting on-ball steals. And look, at the end of the day, it's to each his own. If that's how you want to play, then you cool, you can do that. But what I prefer is what y'all are watching in these clips right here. Staying in front of my man, bumping him, and giving him a hard time. And although actually playing defense might require a little bit more effort, I promise you it's way more effective than reaching out of the play or potentially picking up a foul. And y'all gotta remember that as you're bumping the ball handler, they're losing the adrenaline bars. So even if they do find a way to get open, because you've been bumping them that whole time and they have no adrenaline left, it's gonna be hard for them to hit that shot. And that's the kind of approach to defense that I designed this build with. So if you're looking for a build where you can just cheese and spam people with, this might not be for you. But if you have a brain and some solid basketball IQ, you could really give people problems on this build. And y'all can see these past couple weeks, I've been out here in the wreck both with randoms and a few of my guys, man. And look, I'm gonna put it to you like this. When I get on 2K, I'm not thinking about using any other build but this one right here. So I'm gonna get into the builder and break down how I made the build. And then of course, I'm gonna give y'all the sigs and the jump shot. So we're gonna go with a point guard, 6'7 on the height, 192 on the weight, and a 7'4 wingspan. Now initially I wanted to make this build somewhat of a two-way slasher, but that job and dunk was just gonna cost way too much. But as y'all know, the layups, floaters, scoop layups, euro layups, all of that is super viable this year. And like I told y'all, moving forward, I'm not going with anything less than an 85 job and layup on all my guard builds. But we are gonna have a 55 job and dunk, and by now y'all should know that gets you some pretty decent and dunk packages now you're not gonna be catching bodies or nothing like that but at least if you have a clear lane you can throw it down now for the shooting on the build we're gonna go with the 76 midi and the 76 three ball and look as long as you have a good jump shot and you learn your timing you can shoot very consistently with a 76 trust me on that and y'all can see for a build that isn't primarily a shooter you still get some pretty decent badges and believe it or not i'm still able to get in my shot creator bag on this build with the hop shots the pull-ups all that now for the playmaking on the build we're gonna go with the 77 pass accuracy and for a point guard this is the lowest i would go and i don't really have any complaints to be honest with you now it's not as good as the higher pass accuracies that i have on most of my pgs but but it gets the job done. Now for the ball handle, we're going with an 86. I know it says 85 on the screen, but I made a mistake while recording. But I went with that 86 mainly so I could get that Kemba Walker escape. And for the speed with ball, we're going with a 77. Because once we add the speed and the excel and all that stuff, we're going to get that gold triple strike. 
Now for the defense, like I told y'all in the intro, I'm not the kind of person that wants to sit there and spam the ball handler and reach all day. All I'm trying to do is make the PG's job a living hell and make him pass the ball. Cause as y'all know, most of the time if you can crumble the PG, you can crumble the whole team. But like I said, this build is not only a perimeter defender. We're also going to have a 72 interior defense and an 87 block. And that's going to get you that silver anchor. And at 6'7 and max wingspan, you're going to have no problem getting stops in the paint. And we're going to go with the max speed and excel just to make sure we're as agile as possible. Because like I told you, on my two-way play sharp, I made a mistake going with the lower speed. And that can really hinder you as a defender. So in the end, this is what the build should look like right here. And when you go through with it, you're going to get shades of Giroud Holiday, Derek Harper, Lonzo Ball, and the build is going to be called a defensive menace. Now, I will be bringing some full gameplays on this build real soon, but this is just a quick video to get the build out there for y'all because I've been talking about it a lot on Twitter and people have been wanting to know what it looks like. But before I get out of here, I'm going to give y'all the sigs and the jump shot. But let me know what y'all think about the build in the comments, man. And as always, I appreciate all the support. If you ain't following me on Twitter, man, be sure to give me a follow over there at Be Like Dom. And y'all already know what it is, man. Stay up. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.